Do you go nuts when you hear about all the stupid ways politicians blow through our tax dollars, money that could go to our military, or for education, or for health care? Instead, it goes to ridiculous pet projects in their home states so they can show off how much bacon they bring home. In fact, some money this year isn't even going back to the folks back home. It's going to Paris, France. Senator Jim DeMint recently introduced a budget amendment that would have blocked earmarks for a year, but it failed. And he joins us to explain what's happening now. And keeping an eye on the bottom screen, you will get the, the chance throughout the segment to see some of the most outrageous examples of where Congress is spending your money in 08. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Edie. You know, th this is just it. These things get, I thought there was supposed to be this transparency. Instead, this stuff gets stuck in there, and some of it coming out of, of military money as well. Um, what are some of the most outrageous examples you've seen so far? Well, if, if it wasn't so serious, it would be funny. Uh, you mentioned uh, the fruit fly research in Paris, over $200,000 that we're spending on that. There's about 350000 for a tree program in Chicago. Uh, we've taken money out of the defense budget to uh, support a golf program. And uh, you, it just goes on oh, and on. Let, Thousands let's, of earmarks. Let's highlight that. This golf program, that really got my ire. Three million dollars for a golf program. And by the way, the executives of the program are getting six-digit salaries, high six-figure salaries. And it is it's to play golf so that children can build character. Excuse me. Well, I mean, I, I, I like for kids to learn to play golf, but at a time when we're at war, we're heavily in debt as a nation, uh, we don't need to be spending taxpayer dollars this way. Billions and billions of dollars. We're actually spending Social Security money on, on these projects like the Woodstock Hippie Museum in uh, New York. It goes on and on. And uh, today was the day that the Citizens Against Government Waste put out their annual pig book. And that's what's bringing a lot of this to light, is just helping Americans see how Congress is wasting their money. And uh, we tried we tried to block the earmarks with a moratorium. That failed last week. But we're going to continue to use every procedure we can to block these earmarks until Congress agrees to reform mm -hmm. the process. Well, don't, don't forget, hippies are people, too. <laughs> they need their place to go. Apparently Apparently, uh, presidents are as well. And by the way, this is the uh, report that just came out from the Citizens Against Government Waste. That's right. One thing that I also noticed there, $9 million to the JFK Presidential Library, $8 million plus dollars, I believe, to, or maybe it was $8 million for JFK and $7 plus million for the Richard Nixon Library. They, they charge entrance fees. Why, why are we paying for their library? Well, they can raise a lot of private money for this, and we don't need to do it at the federal level. And we certainly don't need to do it by the earmarking process. Uh, it, it just is it's thousands of local projects that county councils should be doing. We need to be focusing on any of the things you mentioned at the start of the program is health care and how we fix Social Security and Medicare and how do we fix our energy uh, program and our prices. We're not dealing with those because we're spending most of our time trying to get money back to our local congressional districts and to our states. Yeah. And uh, hopefully this is a year that we stop it. John McCain has said he would not take any bill with earmarks. That's one of the best reasons to support him for president in my mind. Well, in fact, he, uh, out of the people who are left running, he, I believe he's the only one who doesn't have any earmarks in there. Uh, and we're not talking chump change, are we? It's over $17 billion, billion with a B. So uh, I, I appreciate your time helping us highlight what's going on there. Senator Jim DeMint. Eddie, Sen the only way we're going to fix it if people on the outside get enraged because we're not going to fix it based on the people who are here now. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. Thanks.